Close to 40,000 youths in Kericho and Bomet counties have lost their jobs after tea farmers opted to go for machines to replace the human labor, leading to mass job losses. A move that has now paralyzed Kericho town, making it a ghost town with the traders being forced to close down their businesses. Used to employ close to 50,000 workers. These people were feeding in turn their homes and their families and they were purchasing and buying from Kericho town. When you look at it now, Kericho town is almost a cost town because we don't have people now who are having the purchasing power because the workers in the tier state were actually the one purchasing from the town. And once they were sacked, the town went to zero. You look at the environs, you know, the farmers that used to supply milk, supply vegetables to the workers in the tier state. It has become a problem. You cannot supply milk and you cannot supply vegetables to the machines in the state. You supply to human beings. However, on his part, Kericho Governor Eric Mutahi noted despite the farmers making huge profit, they were paying 264 shillings per acre per year, an amount he termed as too low, adding that the county assembly will review this. The other day, we put a farm from them which were doing a water project and they sold us a 10 million. That small piece of a farm. And now we are asking them, if you are able to sell for us at 10 million, why are you insisting that you pay us 264 shillings in terms of rate? The entire of the tier states we have in Kericho, the county government of Kericho only collects 147 million Kenya shillings from them. These guys should stop being stubborn. They must come to the temple. We sit to each other, we negotiate and come up with a solution. This comes barely one week after a group of youths raided one of the plantations in Kericho and tortured 10 machines that had been purchased to harvest tea in Chibo Tea Estate. Of course, we, also, we have also encouraged the youth never to take the law to their hands, but allow due process to take place. And we promise the people of Kericho within the next one, uh, figuring around a month or so, would be able to get our lasting solution and get this tier state employ people and work on our revenue so that we also benefit from that particular tier state. Governor Eric Mutai lamented that the tea estate is a nothing if the farmers are paying peanuts to the county in terms of land rates, promising that he will find a lasting solution so that the companies would have enough numbers of workers employed. But for us, the tier state is nothing to us. It's not helping us in terms of revenue. It's not employing the locals. It's not doing any much CRC for the people. And so those were contentious issues that we are having. And that's why you see groups of youth spoiling with anger. Because, you know, remember, we have a huge population of unemployed youth. We have businesses that are closing down. And these people are saying, you have all these farms and it's not benefiting us. 